What's up guys, welcome to Products Room. Choosing the best smart glasses can be confusing, especially with so many options available in the market. Luckily, to help you find the right smart glasses for your needs, we've done the homework for you, and we have compiled a list of some of the best smart glasses you can buy right now. So be sure to stay till the end, so you don't miss anything. And hey, we want to hear from you too. If you have any favorite smart glasses, be sure to let us know in the comments below. We love discovering new products and hearing about your experiences. Now, let's get started. The first smart glasses on our list is Ray-Ban Stories Wayfarer. Ray-Ban teamed up with Facebook to produce the Ray-Ban Stories series of smart glasses. These glasses maintain the classic and stylish Ray-Ban look while remaining relatively lightweight despite the two 5 megapixels cameras, two open-ear speakers, and three microphones. The cameras are decent, with a high-resolution image quality of up to 2592 by 1944 pixels and a video quality of 1414 by 1414 pixels at 30 fps. However, don't expect the excellence of high-end phone cameras. The photos are easily imported to Facebook and Instagram using the Facebook View app, and there is enough storage for about 500 photos or 30 videos. However, this storage capacity is probably unnecessary, as images get deleted as soon as you sync them to your phone. It's also worth bearing in mind that the maximum video length is 30 seconds, so if you are prone to making long videos, you may want to stick with your phone. The sound quality from the open-air speakers is decent, although the bass is a little low. Therefore, some bassy genres, such as hip-hop, may sound flat. On the other hand, the call quality is surprisingly good. The case conveniently doubles as a charger when on the go. You can charge the case via the USB-C cable in around an hour, giving you about a full day of light use. The next smart glasses on our list is Bose Frames Tempo. The Bose Frames Tempo smart glasses are ideal for getting active with hobbies and sports. They offer water and sweat resistance, good battery life, a secure fit, and fine sound quality. With these smart sunglasses, you'll experience the perfect blend of performance and style during outdoor activities. Other than their style, the Bose Frames Soprano and Tenor smart glasses differ little from each other. However, the Bose Frames Tempo glasses have subtle changes that make them more suitable for sports. First, they have better water resistance. At IPX4, these glasses are more resistant to sweat and more tolerant of rain. Also, the frames have a much better battery life. At 8 hours, you will feel confident that your glasses will last the length of a full day's workout and quite a bit more. Additionally, the fit is tighter and more suitable for sports. They'll stay stuck to your head whenever you go running or cycling. The sound quality is the same as the Soprano or Tenor models. However, Bose claims that their open audio speakers are louder and more fully sounding than other brands. On top of this, the dual beam forming array microphones will decrease wind noise and improve call quality. The next smart glasses on our list is Razer Anzu Smart Glasses. Another pair of aesthetically pleasing smart glasses is the Razer Anzu. They are now available at a much more economical price than before, making them an excellent choice for those seeking value. The frames are made from glossy black plastic and are available in round or rectangular lens shapes. Unlike many other smart glasses, they also come in two sizes. Regular size spectacles don't always comfortably fit everybody. Therefore, you might be thankful for the larger sized option. The glasses come with two sets of clip-on lenses, which you can easily pop into the frame with a bit of pressure. One set is a blue light filtering pair that protects your eyes by filtering out harmful light from your computer screen by up to 35%. When outside, you can replace them with the polarized lenses for protection from UV rays. Prescription lenses are also available from Lensable. Audio-wise, the Razer Anzu glasses perform as well as any smart glasses. Again, the bass is a little flat. However, once more, you can listen to music safely and interact with others without your tunes being a nuisance. On the other hand, good mid-range audio makes them excellent for voice calls, Zoom meetings, and podcast listening. Battery life is also pleasing at around 5 hours. Conveniently, the glasses automatically power off when folded to preserve battery life. On the downside, the tap gestures take a bit of practice to master. The functions are all touch sensitive with no buttons. However, you can learn the gestures or even customize them in the app. The next smart glasses on our list is Bose Frame Soprano. With the Bose Frame Soprano, you have very stylish looking smart glasses with good sound quality and decent battery life. Their open-ear speakers don't block out the outside world and allow you to fully interact with others and safely listen to music while out and about on busy streets. Although these glasses are, like other brands, not particularly heavy on bass, the mid-range has a full sound. Blasting the volume is unnecessary to enjoy your music, and controlling the audio output is managed by simply sliding your finger along the arm. 
Additionally, a double tap will have you questioning Siri or answering incoming calls. The supplied cat eye lenses are polarized and will protect your eyes from harmful UV rays. However, you can fit prescription lenses if you have access to a Lensable store, and other stores may also be able to provide them. Additionally, the glasses are IPX2 water resistant. This rating will give you time to get them to safety when the rain starts and gives you peace of mind when encountering light splashes. However, you shouldn't keep them on when the heavens open, and it certainly isn't advisable to submerge your head underwater while wearing them. The next smart glasses on our list is Tech Ken Sunglasses Headset. For an affordable option when seeking a decent pair of smart glasses, the Tech Ken Sunglasses Headset offers comfort during outdoor activities on top of its excellent value. Their clunky physical design may not be for everyone but they are sturdy and feature levers that allow you to modify the fit according to your preference. Additionally, they offer good polarization for protecting your eyes when out and about on sunny days. The headset offers decent audio for the price point. They bring decent sound to your inner ears via two in earbuds, which may be preferable for those who don't like the less pronounced low frequencies that open-ear speakers deliver. In general, the sound quality is as good as it gets in relation to the cost. The controls are also hassle-free, you can easily manage playback, adjust the volume, and handle calls. With the headset's long-lasting battery life of around 8 hours, you get extended usage between charges. All in all, these smart sunglasses deliver remarkable value without compromising too much on quality. The next smart glasses on our list is X-Real Air AER Glasses. Formerly known as Nreal, the rebranded X-Real Air AER Glasses are a pair of augmented reality specs that are easy to use straight out of the box. After connecting to a compatible device, you'll enjoy a virtual TV experience comparable to a 130 inches screen. However, while the dynamic range and color accuracy are pretty good, you shouldn't expect image quality to rival the best OLED TVs. At just 2.8 ounces, they are lightweight with a sleek and comfortable design. With speakers located on the glasses' stems, they offer decent quality audio. Although for a complete experience, you'll want to pair your device with quality earbuds. MacBook users, M1 and M2 chips can enjoy the glasses' virtual desktop technology, which enables your laptop to have separate screens for different applications or programs, allowing you to work on multiple tasks simultaneously. Additionally, specific Android phones can exclusively access AER space through the Nebula app to explore the spatial internet. This technology makes web pages appear on a virtual screen as large as 201 inches, and you can engage in 3D gaming, explore virtual representations of real-world locations, and enjoy captivating AER applications. It may still be in its early stages, but this technology is both exciting and promising, and offers a fresh and immersive way to engage with digital content. The next smart glasses on our list is Amazon Echo Frames, second generation. Depending on how you feel about Alexa perpetually drifting around somewhere in the background, the second generation of Amazon Echo Frames could be a good choice. You can use Alexa when you are on the go the same way you would with an Echo speaker at home. You can set reminders and alarms, control smart devices, and make calls, among many other tasks. You can also use Siri or Google Assistant. The Alexa app has tutorials to help get you started, and some neat features include VIP filter and top contact options that enable prioritization of contacts. There's also control over Alexa and the frames with the action button, and the auto volume feature adjusts the volume level based on surrounding noise. The glasses themselves have a somewhat retro look and may not be to everyone's taste. However, they are pretty sturdy and lightweight. The controls on the frames are relatively undetectable by sight, and the touchpad on the right side is invisible. There are three different lenses to choose from, polarized, blue light filtering, or prescription ready. In terms of sound quality, low latency sounds are, once more, as flat as a pancake. Don't expect the hairs on your neck to rise when listening to heavy bass-infused tracks. On the other hand, they have an IPX4 rating and impressive battery life. Amazon claims the battery will last 14 hours with 2 hours of talk time, 20 Alexa interactions, and 85 minutes of media playback. Alternatively, one full charge will give you 4 hours of continuous listening. Alright guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, and this video helped you out. Don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you later.